but a great awakening is occurring as we come to the end of a 26,000 year cycle as evidenced by this channel alone it truly is an incredible time to be alive and to be living I believe that what's coming is a awakening in consciousness a raising of the consciousness of humanity an apocalypse if you will which means an uncovering or an unveiling look it up that's what apocalypse means the ancient ones knew the cycles, as above, so below. We are a microcosm of the macrocosm. I believe that time is speeding up and we will continue to vibrate at a higher frequency. People will awaken, even the dormant ones. Heck, the sheep will even have a chance with what we're transitioning into. And people will start to discover who they are. I'd like to leave you with the words of a Hopi Indian elder. There is a river flowing now very fast. It is so great and swift that there are those who will be afraid. They will try to hold on to the shore. They will feel they are being torn apart and will suffer greatly. No, the river has its destination. The elders say we must let go of the shore, push off into the middle of the river keep our eyes open and our heads above the water and I say see who is in there with you and celebrate remember there's nothing to fear but fear itself it's just really incredible what's going on things really do seem to be speeding up you know you look at what happened between 1800 and 1900 all the advances which you know there were some but nothing compared to the advances that happened between 1900 and 2000 I mean, with the technology and everything, everything's just speeding up, super rate of speed. Now, you, we just finished the eighth level of the pyramid, which lasted 12.8 years, I believe. And um, so now, every 18 days, we're into a new wave of consciousness. Now, some people can feel what's happening. I think some people are just worried about you know what the Lakers did or whatever they're not really tuned in to what's happening as far as um, being tuned in to to the earth and and just you know the, the universal consciousness that we're all part of that we're all tied in once the 16 billion years of creation has ended well then you have your result of what was created um, we're coming into some huge changes you know the, the ninth just before the ninth wave started we had all those animal deaths birds and fish and just the months prior to the ninth wave starting and I'm starting to see that these pick up again today I just noticed there's another uh, thousands of fish and some Red River in uh, Oklahoma I'm about to post that onto the dying birds and fish blogspot.com which I believe is the only place that is documented you know, I think I have 150 instances in, instances documented on there, and I haven't found that type of documentation anywhere else. Whatever it is, something affecting the birds and fish, not lack of oxygen in the water, like I kept hearing a hundred times. That's just totally ridiculous. I mean, there's something else going on. Recently, we've had a phenomena happen around the world where there's strange sounds, like roaring and. Um, I don't even know how to explain it. Just uh, sounds coming out of the sky all over the world. I've about 140 YouTube videos uploaded from around the world. And I was just wondering if any of you have seen this, if you've noticed that it's been pointed, you know, the source has been recognized as a hoax or, or whatever. It's, it's pretty creepy, some of these videos, the sounds that I'm hearing. Um, I've heard tons of different explanations, all the way from a marketing ploy for some new movie, or the moon's causing it, or it's wind, or something, you know, harp, or the ionosphere, um, all different explanations. The seven horns of the apocalypse, it sounds like someone blowing a horn. I mean, really crazy. Um, I could link one of the videos, I will link a video below. 
But just type in strange noises in the search for YouTube and you can see all the different videos. Um, I, you know, I, I started a blog for the dying fish and birds and I put tons of stuff on there last year. Continued it. Took off with a bang at the beginning of last year and then it continued through the year and it kind of tapered off. And then New Year's again this, this year, we had birds falling. You know, it makes you think that it's fireworks, but I don't recall thousands of blackbirds falling on 4th of July in BB, Arkansas. So it's just strange that there were birds falling out of the sky again on New Year's Eve or day in BB, Arkansas. But it seems like these noises, which have really cranked up the past couple weeks. I mean, there were a few videos four months ago, three months ago. But the last couple weeks, the amount of videos, you know, there's 100, I think at least 140 have been put up there from all around the world. So, the strange noises are taking over where the dying fish and bird left off. video taking notes watching videos you know I've been researching this for years but I'm really jumping into it now we're getting close to 20, to December 21st 2012 and it's a complex subject date it reaches back through history back to the beginning of, of mankind I mean this 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 date is is in prophecy and you may have seen something on the history channel about it at the end of the world this and that it's, it's more than that. I, mean, I don't think that that's the case. I don't want to get too much into it now because I'm going to be doing a video on it. But I wanted to have people give their opinion on what they feel or what they see coming in December 21st, 2012. It's an important date. And I, and I don't, don't know if anything on that day is going to happen. But we're moving. We're moving, the, you know, we're moving from an, into a new age. We're moving out of the age of Pisces into the age of Aquarius. And this is a, it's a big shift coming. And so I wanted to get the gears turning. Please leave your comments below. Just what you feel. Maybe something out of the... Besides the, you know, all this end of the world that everything's over with type stuff. What are you feeling? What are you thinking is coming up? Or something maybe interesting that you've heard about that's not mainstream. Um, if you could leave a comment on that. I wanted to, to get the gears turning. I wanted to leave you with this. You know, the... Each age is about 2,160 years we move through each house in the zodiac. We move from each age. We're moving out of the age of Pisces. You know, Pisces is represented by the fish. That's why the Christians have the fish on the back of the car. And Jesus was known as a great fisherman. And, Pi and um, Pesos is, is the Spanish word for, for um, fish. Pescado would be a dead fish, and a pes or peces would be the, the live fish sw swimming around. So Pisces you know, is represented by the fish. Now we have um, we have in Matthew 24 verse 3, as Jesus is sitting on the Mount of Olives, his disciples come to him and say, what will be the sign of the of the coming of the end of the age and your return and during the last supper he announced the shift of the ages it's in Luke 22 verse 10 through 12 Jesus replied as you enter the city a man carrying a jar of water will meet you follow him into the house that he enters he will show you a large upper room. Now this is a time when men wouldn't be been caught carrying a jug of water. Women always fetched water. This wasn't something that men did in those times in that part of the world. And so on December 21st, 2012, we'll enter the age of Aquarius, which is represented by the man carrying a bucket or pitcher of water is a symbol. So we'll be moving from the 10th house to the 11th house of the, house of the Zodiac. Now, I came across that. It's pretty interesting. Um, 
thought we you know, could kick off with that, please leave comments below. I wanted to bring up something that's been happening to me a lot more frequently lately. It started on 9-11-2001 when the Twin Towers were brought down. But here, I guess in the last six months, it's been happening a lot, almost four or five times a week. Um, and it's not a thing where I think to myself, okay, oh, what time is it? And then I look at the clock. No, so, I mean, I, I could be doing something totally different. And then all of a sudden, boom, I just look at the clock at 9-11. I mean, this happens almost every day. It's really crazy. Um, it's like something's just making me look, my, something in my brain is drawing me to look at it. It's like trying to remind me, hey, it's 9-11. So I know it's happened to other people. I found some threads on, online of comments that it's happened to a lot of people. The other, I've been having an awakening that started on 9-11, 2001, and it's been progressing. And there's some type of collective consciousness that I feel a part of and a spiritual awakening. It's just an awakening to what's happening on the planet with the uh, with the dark occultists that are running things. And I'm not, you know, I don't have this all figured out, everybody, but I know a lot of you are participating in this with me. Some you know, started long before me, but I just have a feeling that somehow this is connected. It's not a coincidence. There's something in my brain that's telling myself, hey, look over at the digital clock, and it's 9-11, almost, I, I swear, it's like f four or five times a week. It's just Hello everyone, today's November 12th, 2013. Well, the sounds are back. The strange, mysterious sounds that were heard around the world a couple years ago. But the past month or two, it's really ramped up. I'll play you three little clips, just maybe 10 seconds each. Dude, it's like this loud sound outside, dude. It's like super loud. What do you mean? I don't know what it is, dude, watch. Listen, it's like coming from the sky, listen. You hear that? Dude, what is it? It's loud, huh? I don't know what it is, it's like coming... I don't know where it's coming from. What is that? I'm not sure if you guys could hear that one. Maybe you can hear this one better. This is from Texas, uh, from about three weeks ago. sounds they don't even sound like they're from this this world uh, some type of super low frequency that's I don't know I, I don't even know what to say it's it, nobody can explain it I've I've seen the, the mainstream media is picking up on this now and a lot of a, a lot of news channels are doing stuff on this because it's happening all over the place and nobody has any explanations for it this is in Poland like uh, five days ago. Many people go about their daily lives still unaware of the current global shift that they will eventually find themselves in. The fact that I am making this video and you are here watching it demonstrates that we are at a higher level of change in the current wave of energy that is causing a global shift in consciousness. As if humanity were awakening after a long sleep, our interconnectedness with the planet and the universe is revealing itself to us. 
I am confident in saying that many of you can sense the current control system unraveling and coming apart. In my opinion, the dark occultists that are running the planet used Hollywood and the mainstream media to promote fear surrounding the December 21st, 2012 date, the ending of the Mayan calendar, as well as other prophecies relating to the present time. All of the reports of pending doom and end of the world movies were used to continue to keep many people in the dark and unable to consciously realize the shift that they are a part of. A shift that will ultimately bring an end to all the lies and usher in the apocalypse. Oh wait, I better stop for a second and clarify the true meaning of the word apocalypse. Forget what Hollywood has taught you. Apocalypse is a Greek word meaning an uncovering or a lifting of the veil. The same ancient Native American prophecies that predicted the dark period that came and caused the condor and eagle to separate have also told of a time when balance and harmony would return. The tenth Pachacuti has arrived and the eagle and condor are soon to fly together once again. These two powerful birds coming together represent a unity consciousness and a time of great peace. We are at a fork in the road and the ones in control will not retreat without putting up a fight. You may have noticed the blatant, in-your-face, satanic Illuminati ritualistic performances being performed by popular music artists, as well as movies that feed on the unconscious mind. Before the condor and eagle can come together in the sky, humanity must choose its path. Are you going to choose the road traveled by controlled sheep and slaves to the system, or awaken and take the road to freedom and enter a peaceful golden age? And there shall be signs in the sun, and in the moon, and in the stars, and upon the earth, distress of nations, with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, men's hearts failing them for fear, and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken, and then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up, and lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. Thy dead men shall live. Together with my dead body shall they arise. Rather than this verse talking about bones coming out of the crypt, I believe that this refers to people awakening and remembering who they are. This current biblical tetrad, in my opinion, is part of a global shift in consciousness and will be accompanied by many earth-shaking changes. We are in the apocalypse, which simply means the lifting of the veil. December 21st, 2012 was not a single day event. It marked a time period of transition, a period in time also marked by the Hindus with the Kali Yuga. St. Malachi's Pope Prophecy, the Hopi Prophecy of the Coming Fifth World, the Prophecy of Hermes Trismegistus, the Zoroastrian Prophecies, the Age of Meeting Ourselves Again that the Incas talked of, and the Kala Chakra teachings of the Tibetan predicting the coming of the Golden Age. September 2015 is shaping up to be an incredible time during our transition as the final blood moon will actually be a super blood moon with the moon appearing 19% larger. We are in for the ride of a lifetime everyone as the transition from the age of believing to the age of knowing continues. Hello everyone, Moneybag73 here, or Shine the Light 73 as some of you know me on my other channel. I wanted to talk about the Mandela Effect today. You know, the past six months or so, thousands of people have been awakening to an effect called the Mandela Effect. And many people are writing it off, I've seen some channels, out of fear or just not wanting to confront the possibilities of what it might mean, or just the fact that they haven't shifted along with uh, other individuals. So we've all been awakening at our own pace over the past, say, 20 years. Mine started on 9-11, 2001. Started 
awakening to how things are as opposed to just unconsciously being led kind of standing back and seeing the forest for the trees rather than just to, you know the individual trees I've, I've kind of been going through my own process and I think that the massive shift that occurred around September 2015 as evidenced by this Google Trends that I'm putting up here during the final blood moon of the Tetrid that had all four blood moons falling on Jewish holy days I've done videos on that I'm gonna put, put a little clip of that video I did on Shine the Light 73 it has uh, about 875,000 views and to be honest with you, you know, I made that video but I afterwards many times looking at the video I wasn't sure how I was able to put that together you know, I've known there was a shift coming but I didn't understand it I didn't know exactly what was gonna happen I just knew there was some type of global shift coming I've been reading about it the ancients knew about it I didn't know how it was gonna manifest and the past week I've been trying to come to terms with these memories of a different timeline or reality that I've been noticing I don't really want to get into um, the discussion on reality and parallel universes and everything which I believe has something to do with this but I just kind of wanted to talk about what I thought the Mandela effect is for the people that are starting to to notice it or to hear about it or to become aware of of this Mandela effect so for many of us belief of a life in a linear reality that has a given past and a given future is starting to fade uh, that's really kind of where I'm at now um, for many individuals and as part of this global shift in consciousness they're awakening to the fact that there's no time they're awakening to the fact that there is no time there only is now and that they can insert into the field of now whatever they wish we're not victims or slaves we're creators and I believe people are waking up to this this is a process this was gonna happen this is just uh, the way it has to be we need to tear down the walls of this reality that's been created by this dark force it's like dark occultists that have created this reality and the c construct of like the money system and politics it's all coming down I've been talking about the money system coming down for a long time on my Moneybag 73 channel it's all coming down and becoming conscious creators and no longer unconscious observers or sheeple realizing that we are infinite creators with an infinite potential this is what I believe this is all about now those who were ready to experience a higher frequency or a higher level of consciousness have now shifted my research has revealed to me that in my opinion December 21st 2012 may have been the trigger for a large number of people to start to realize that they have shifted timelines of such uh, many of you are aware of the blood moons that I mentioned earlier and in September 2015 was the final blood moon and seemed to be the peak in this realization of some type of conscious shift into a different timeline of, of memories now it appears that September 2015 was a time of maximum awareness according to Google Trends and I believe that people will now start to awaken at a faster rate than before during the current quickening that I'm feeling I'm sure others of you are feeling a theory popularized by Terence McKenna and his time wave zero so it'll be very interesting obviously <laughs> to see how this turns out uh, please try and stay grounded don't lean towards fear I mean yeah it's it's a little unsettling you know I thought that we were just on this linear timeline and my past was my past but you know we all have to wake up and realize that's not what you know that's not what reality that's not reality and that's our consciousness is who we are the me here now this is you know I'm conscious now you're listening to me now and then right now that you're listening to me two second one two seconds later is a new reality I mean that's that's a difficult concept this is gonna be a process but it's incredible you know I I feel privileged to have started to realize this now I don't know when others are gonna realize it if they are gonna even realize it a lot of people aren't ready I don't think a lot of people can handle this video actually I, I actually believe that a lot of people still are gonna say that they may unsub the channel 
you know, a lot of my subscribers that subscribe to me for financial information, they're probably going to say, man, this money bags, dude, he just fell off his rocker. I mean, I'm out of here, man. I ain't listening to this guy anymore. Well, and then there's going to be the other ones of you who have looked at my past video, the one I just did uh, four or five days ago, and agree with almost all of it. I mean, you remember things that way, and then, you know, for a real uh, mind blow, just check out the World Atlas if you haven't lately. Check out where Australia's at. I want to do another video soon on the World Atlas. I mean, <laughs> wow, that was a real eye-opener right there. Okay, so that's about it. I'll leave you with this other clip from another video I did. Like I said, just uh, stay grounded, everyone, and know that this was going to happen, and the ancients knew about this, and, you know, we can make this a great thing. Talk to you all soon. And God said, let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night. And let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. And let them be for lights in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth. And it was so. On September 23rd, 2017, the heavenly sign foretold of in Revelation chapter 12 of the New Testament of the Bible will be present in the sky as the stars align for what appears to be the first time in human history. There will be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth for the powers of heaven shall be shaken and then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. For thousands upon thousands of years, ancient cultures have been foretelling of a future time in history. And you're in that time now. Not only are you going to see an incredible astronomical alignment in this video, but you will also see the birth of a king known as Jupiter to the Romans and Zeus to the Greeks. Starting around November 20th, 2016, Jupiter enters the womb of Virgo and due to retrograde motion, stays in the belly for about nine and a half months or 41 weeks before exiting the womb in September 2017. Miraculously, this just happens to be the human gestation period for a baby inside its mother. At this point, I would like to clarify something. This is not a video about the end of the world. There seemed to be a lot of confusion in part one of this series where I talked about the biblical blood moon tetrad. Many people were thinking automatically I was talking about the end of the world, or the apocalypse. To me, the apocalypse means a revealing. The word apocalypse is the lifting of the veil. It's not the end of the world. And many people seem to be confused about that. In my opinion, their fear stems from so-called end times, thanks to horror stories from Hollywood and religion, as we find ourselves in the end of the age of Pisces, an age of believing, deception, suppression, and control. I don't think I need to ask you if you have noticed how hard at work the dark occultists have been lately in fear of losing control. As more and more people awaken and tune into the higher frequency, realizing who they are the dark forces ruling the planet must keep you in fear while enslaved in their current construct. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. Many shall be purified and made white and tried. But the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand. But the wise shall understand. The Aquarian age we are approaching is the age of knowing, truth, harmony, expansion, and incredible potential for the human race. Please do not confuse some new age movement with just being something new. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet, and upon her head a crown of twelve stars. And she being with child cried, travailing in birth, and pain to be delivered. So here we are everyone, an incredible sign in the heavens. I'm going to link you below to someone who's done research claiming that this is the only time this happens in 7,000 years. 
but there may be other times the alignment is similar, but I don't think there's another time where the alignment is similar and Jupiter had just gone through a 41 week gestation period in the womb of Virgo. So this is totally incredible. This is a sign of the end of an age as we transcend into the age of Aquarius and we have an awakening happening in the human race. And this is just an incredible sign. You know, God said, let the stars and the planets be for signs. So on September 23rd, 2017, Virgo will be in the daytime sky. You have to remove the daylight here in the Stellarium program to see the alignment. But the, she'll be draped in the sun. She'll have the moon at her feet. Jupiter will be coming out of the belly of Virgo, out of the womb. And she'll be crowned with 12 stars. Leo being made up of nine stars. And in line with Regulus will be Venus, Mars, and Mercury making up 12 stars. I'm going to leave you here with something else uh, talking about what is arguably one of the oldest books in the Bible where God talks to Job about the Maseroth, which is the Zodiac. I'm going to leave you with that and uh, one other verse from the Bible. Thank you. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Canst thou bind the sweet influences of Pleiades? or loose the bands of Orion? Canst thou bring forth Mazaroth in his season? Or canst thou guide Arcturus with his sons? Knowest thou the ordinances of heaven? Canst thou set the dominion thereof in the earth? And it shall come to pass, in the last days, saith God, I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. And on my servants and on my handmaidens I will pour out in those days of my spirit. And they shall prophesy. And I will show wonders in heaven above. And signs in the earth beneath. Blood and fire and vapor of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness. And the moon into blood before that great and notable day of the Lord come. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved.